I know y'all probably like, what's wrong with her hair? I felt like being aligned today, okay? I felt like being aligned today. I felt like being aligned today. I felt like showing that side of me. Like, yeah. I wasn't even supposed to take him out today, but I had him in for like four days, so I don't know. I probably was going to take him out when I was going somewhere. Anyways, guys, what's up? It's me, Asian. I'm back with another V-I-D-E-O video. And as y'all can tell by the title, the five important things that I hate about a relationship. Being in a relationship, I hate the word relationship because it's just like, I don't even, I don't even call them relationships. Y'all know how, you know, y'all know how you got the word friendships, partnerships. Like, I don't even, I say vibe ships because it's like, we're vibing. We're vibing. I don't even want to think about being in a relationship because it's just like relationships sound too much like marriage. <laughs> so, yeah. But before we get into this video, I want y'all to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so that we can know when I post. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So, the fifth thing that I hate mostly about being in a relationship is timing. Timing because... You and a person could go from talking to each other every single day and now y'all acting like strangers. Timing to me is very important because it's like you have to be on them every day. When I say you got to be on them, you got to make sure that you and your girl or other partner is straight at the end of the day or else time because timing goes like that if you and the person that you with ain't making no type of progress what 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 do you expect to happen do you expect them not to flow away from you because you was not even putting forth any efforts anymore because oh and another thing dudes 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 <sighs> this job really tricked me out because i never i never thought in life that I knew that it was true but I never thought oh 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 it happened to me and it did basically effort you putting in time or you like just trying your best to get your female to get a person that you want you finally get them so you done you know shooting your shot like like, you're done putting forth the effort. You're done, you know, sending them paragraphs. You're done talking to them. You're done doing this. I'm not saying, oh, I want you to send me a paragraph every single day. Like, that's a lot to read. I'm saying that put forth some type of effort. Like, I understand if you're tired. I now, I, I understand if you're tired. I understand if you're working. I understand if, you know, you, you, you play a sport. But at the end of the day, attention, some type of test back. If I'm over here stressed over you because you want to not put forth ever because you're being dry. Oh, baby, you're pushing me away. You're pushing me away. What's the use of you being with somebody and me trying my best to, you know, I'm, I'm putting, I'm giving 100% and you're giving 50 now, how does that work, Sammy Jr.? How does that work? It does not work at all. It really frustrates me. This could be in relationships, vibeships, friendships. If you and a person are not on the same page, y'all is not going to last. It's like you, you can have so high hopes for this person and this person just still wants to be right here. And it's like, I'm up. I want you to come up. Like... Why is you still right here? It just doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, timing is very important because you, you 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 gotta pay attention to how a person change as well. A person can change on you in a matter of twenty four hours. You just have to. You really have to be on the lookout. You have to be aware. You have to, in other words, you have to just stay woke because that John really just blow me how you you just was calling me bae and you was looking at me and all this other stuff and now today you just acting like a whole brand new person and ain't even nobody knew you just acting like that it just like fourth thing communication you have to communicate with me i need you to communicate with me like i, I can understand oh if you're mad 
at what somebody else did or, or if something else got you mad. But if I'm somebody special, if I'm somebody important, I me, me and your mama should be the first person that you should tell if I'm somebody that's really that important to you. You would not treat me like the homie you will not treat me like you treat other people like oh you, oh you could treat your homeboys like that and not talk to them for the whole day but if i'm somebody that's really important like like just because you mad if i'm somebody that's really important to you you gonna treat me like you would if i was in your presence with love with kindness you know like all of that stuff you ain't gotta like stray away from me because you mad like i can't mm -mm, i know because because that that to me that that just means that you you just you, you you're not ready you're not built you don't have that mindset of not bringing your baggage you feel me like like stuff happens we get mad we don't want to talk to people but like i said if i'm somebody that's important to you all that need to go out the window period the third thing that i hate I hate about relationships. Trust. If we don't have trust, we don't have nothing. If I feel if you have lied to me, maybe even once, one time is really too many. But if I give you a second chance and you still mess that over, you, you're done. I will never put my trust in you ever again. It's not that I just put my trust in you, but it's just like I trusted you. You know, you made me feel safe. You know. I was over here talking, talking to my mom about you. And you just done messed up. And you could probably not even have cheated, but it's just the fact that you just lied to me. Like, you could have lied to me about your feelings. All, all I ask is for you to be a thousand with me in a relationship. Like, I promise you. Like, like I told y'all, I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to get upset because you're being honest. I can't get mad because you're being honest. I asked you to be honest. So why would I get mad at the outcome? Like, just tell me what's going on with you and we'll be fine i'll i'll speak my truth you speak you'll speak your, if i if i have something to speak on shoot i could i could be thinking that we doing fine and you could be thinking something else if you feel like you don't found somebody else tell me that you found somebody else because back baby i ain't trying to re-up on nobody but myself like if i'm with you and i'm also, in the process of, you know, healing myself, I'm not going to be trying, you know, hit up, hit up, hey, big head. Like, no, I'm not going to be trying to do all that. I'm going to be focused on myself. And, you know, like, if, if one day we, we come to a conclusion where we want to really be back together, where you really want to move forward, we can talk about it. But as far as, you know, you just like saying that, oh, you feel some type of way about somebody else and, you know, got a new girlfriend in like 24 hours, you know. I no, <laughs> no, like, oh, you left me for so and so. Like, did you really upgrade? <clears throat> That's not about, <laughs> but <clears throat> did you really <clears throat> upgrade? <clears throat> I don't think so. But fourth thing that I had about relationships being together, if we can't see each other, that junk really just irritates me. That, that junk really will irritate yourself. If you and a person, like, I don't get people who do long, like, I'm not bashing nobody that, you know is in a long distance relationship but i just can't do that i can't do that like if you and a person can't see each other that junk is really draining because it's just like <sighs> like i can't be under you i can't see you i can't get used i can't do that like oh my god oh my god like Y'all know it's draining. But no, like, if I'm trying to see you and you make no effort, baby, I've been there before. All you got to do is tell me that, oh, you don't want to spend the day with me. Like, that's another thing about being honest. Like, all you have to do is say what's, just, just keep it 100 with me. If you don't feel good, if you don't feel like it, shoot. Like, I'm <laughs> what I'm supposed to do. Why? No, like you're being honest. Just tell me, like. But y'all know, if you in a long distance relationship, that junk really just drains you out. Cause it's just like, wow. Like I want to be with you. I want to smell you. I want to, you know, like hug you, be up under you, go to the movies, take pictures. 
Speaking of taking pictures, the last but final thing, last but not least, what I hate about relationships, social media. I hate, I hate social media. I hate it. I know I be on it, but I really hate it. I've always hated social media. Yes, I'm on social media. Yes, I'm active on social media, but I hate it. Especially, like, my tips to y'all, and y'all probably heard this already. Y'all, if if I'm telling you this, and you, like, you, you could have been heard this third time, and this your other time seeing it, I'm telling you, do not put your relationship on social media like that. Do not. A lot of people don't like being seen like that. If you and your partner really trust each other to where y'all in an agreement to put it on social media, go ahead. Like, y'all could be seen in the public. Ain't, ain't no problem. But I know one thing. I better not see nothing about our problems on social media. That's what I know. You better not take us a book. You better not take a Snapchat. You better not do anything. Now, see, me, me and a person, we used to express our feelings through music. So if we was mad, oh, they knew it. Uh, if something happened, they knew it because of the song that we were listening to. And it would be like 12 different songs and we would just go back and forth. But that day was fun because at the end of the day, we knew what was going on. You feel me? If you and a person know what's going on and y'all on social media, like y'all could make it seem like... I don't, I don't care nothing about your acting. Y'all can make it seem like y'all relationship just the worst thing on social media. And y'all love each other to life in real life. Like, like just to confuse them. Like, they like they think they know what's going on. But they don't know what's going on. Like, people could just, like, some people in relationships. Like, maybe celebrities, they act like they're happy just because. And they're really not. I advise you not to do that. Just don't put it on social media. Like, I told myself, I said, if I'm not with you, I said, this, this is exactly how I'm going to be. Because I ain't got nothing to hide. You best believe I don't have anything to hide. But if me and you are t together for at least maybe three months, maybe even four. Like, if me and you don't make it to half of a year, you're not getting posted. Because I'm trying to pop out with my boo and surprise everybody. And then and then uh, be like one year or so with so-and-so. Shoot, we could have been together for one year. They didn't know it. I could post you and say, and just and just put date. Let's say I was with somebody today and I just popped out and posted them. I could have uh, been like um, 12, 12, 31st, 18. Happy New Year or something like that. I mean, you could have been together for a year. Like, do something smart. Don't be dumb on social media. Like, <sighs> but yeah, guys, that's it for um the five things that I hate about relationships. I hope y'all like this. I hope y'all enjoyed. Comment down which part was your favorite. If you could relate any of that, and yeah, like tell me if I should do more videos like this. But yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe, turn on my post notifications so that way you know I'm. Pose, live every day to the fullest another day another dollar and we out